Hello, uh, this is Dan Monroe. I'm making a video for Eczema Awareness Week to make you aware of my eczema or eczema, however you pronounce it. Um, I've also wanted to talk about topical steroid withdrawal, which was something that greatly affected my life for several years. Okay, so we'll get into a little bit right now um, yeah so and here I am in 2011 uh, I had never taken any topical corticosteroids at this point um, I had always had a little bit of eczema throughout my life um, pretty minor patches on my arms and whatnot but nothing too drastic uh, life was still, I was very easy, it was very easy to function normally and it didn't hinder my life very much. Um, around 2012, I believe, uh, 2013, I was prescribed, uh, this beta derm cream by a walk-in clinic doctor, uh, and I proceeded to use that on a couple of patches of atopic dermatitis that I was having, otherwise known as eczema, um, and it would clear up for a little while, and then it would crop up in a new place. I would end up kind of uh, chasing it all over my body, like uh, there's some patches on my back, and just it would crop up in new places that it had never been before. Um, I used that for probably around a year or so, and then I went to a different doctor. Uh, I got a GP, uh, and uh, he prescribed me with this, uh, clobetazole. Um, it is a stronger, more potent uh, topical steroid, and I used that, again, all over my body uh, for about six weeks. Um, when I stopped using that, uh, I had I stopped in 2015, or I guess it would have been November 2014, um, and within a month, like I couldn't control uh, my eczema anymore. It was just all over my body. Uh, I was seeming to react to everything. Um, just a constant itch, like a to to the bone itch, redness all over, oozing, uh, scaliness drying and like uh dry flaky skin just uh it was awful i couldn't sleep at night um i couldn't go out in the sun for very long uh it was brutal and uh yeah that would continue for about um this is pretty much as bad as it ever was this was like last year uh it lasted until about 2019 um i made changes to my diet that's how i fixed it I'll get into that in a different video um, because that's a big story. Uh, but my hands were greatly affected, um, oozing constantly, cracks all over. It was like I had paper cuts all over my hands. Uh, and then just the itch wouldn't stop. Um, it was very painful to even move them, as you can probably imagine from looking at these monster hands. Um, yeah, it was, uh, crazy, crazy times. So the National Eczema Association, uh, recommends that you do not use, uh, daily topical corticosteroids continuously for more than two to four weeks, which is a time frame I greatly exceeded. Um, then the frequency should be tapered to twice weekly use. Uh, your provider should strive to help create a safe and effective long-term treatment plan that does not include daily use of topical corticosteroids, especially on more sensitive areas. Um, close follow-up and careful monitoring with good communication will help ensure this. I did not have any of that with my, uh, like I went to a walk-in clinic doctor and they didn't really instruct me very much on how to use them. So I just used them as needed, like I said, on the, on the bottle. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty much that. And I, I found out afterwards that this can 
uh, greatly affect your uh, like adrenal glands and stuff like that. I think I had uh, symptoms of a secondary adrenal insufficiency. Um, I'm getting to that more in another video as well. Uh, yeah, so this is from a paper, a prospective study of atopic dermatitis managed without corticosteroids. Um, they describe it as topical steroid addiction, also known as red burning skin, skin, skin syndrome, fun and accurate, uh, may occur after prolonged use of topical corticosteroids and has been discussed for many years. Skin produces cortisol and prolonged application of t TCS can suppress the cortisol production in the same way that systemic steroids suppress the production of cortisol in the adrenal gland. Uh, once the production of cortisol in the skin is impaired, irritants and allergens from the environment cause increased inflammation unless there is a consistent supply and the eczema becomes refractory. Uh, prolonged use has been shown to cause a patchy defect of cortical cortisol staining in the epidermis. Um, yeah, so that's very accurate to my uh, experience. Um, I definitely felt that I was allergic to pretty much everything like foods, uh, allergens, everything. It was, uh, pretty miserable. Um, here's a slide that shows you, uh, before and after of using, um, how the epidermal layer, uh, gets thinned out. So that was the only warning I really had was a pharmacist said that, uh, it could cause uh, thin sk or skin thinning, which uh, I didn't really understand at the time, but now I do. Um, yeah, so here's a list of side effects, uh, tons of side effects. I looked up on uh, a website that showed all the adverse side effects of Betaderm. I had, I think, 26 out of 50, um, which I think is significant. Uh, there they all are. Um, clobetazole, uh, I think it had less, but I think I had all of them. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty brutal. Um, yeah, so that's all I kind of want to say in this video. Uh, in future videos, I will go into more detail about what I went through and how I treated it. And, uh, ultimately what I did to, um, kind of put it into remission. All right. Thank you for watching.